personal attorney was hush money and that he did it at the direction of the candidate. Doesn't name that candidate, but everyone in the world knows that would be Donald J. Uh, Trump. If somebody says to you and you're running for office and the person says, give me money or I will humiliate right. you in public and you do give that person money or instruct your lawyer to give that person money, that's a campaign donation? Don't lie to the FBI, pay your taxes, don't lie in a bank application, don't be friends with Donald Trump? Politically, it's, a, it's, it's not good. We're a long way from, uh, you know, tolling the bells for this administration. It's a but bad still, day. I, I, it's I, a I, negative day. It's but a not, bad day, but for not, sure. not a fatal one. Yeah. Robert Mueller is a greater threat to this republic and the Constitution than anything Vladimir Putin did during the campaign. What is happening here is a coup d'etat. What essentially amounts to a coup d'etat, a soft coup, is underway. This is a coup d'etat, and Mueller is part of it. This coup that is taking place, and make no mistake, it is. The, the Wall Street Financial Journal said that this is the first attempted coup d'etat in American yeah, history. I mean, it's stupid. a mini coup d'etat. The silent coup. The soft coup. This is designed to create the atmospherics for an impeachment. Forcibly remove a duly elected president. An effort to subvert the administration. They're trying to prove the administration is illegitimate. Whatever word you want to describe that. Fixing, well, rigging, a coup, I don't know. Yeah, you are describing the very elements of a palace coup. This is very dangerous what happened here. They're covering for what they did, the Democrats. Miller is doing so much damage to this country right now. This family is a patriotic family. Oh, yeah. What's happening right now is yeah. a coup yeah. oh, boy. against the will so of the American people. There is a syndicate going on within the Department of Justice. Let's call it a cartel, the equivalent of the mob. You're not attempting to remove a president of the United States simply because you disagree with them. That's not America. That's some banana third world republic public south of the border. The FBI has become America's secret police. Secret surveillance, wiretapping, intimidation, harassment and threats. It's like the old KGB. Is Mueller a greater threat than Putin to this country? Well, he's a serious threat. Mr. Mueller, you can leave the room and don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. We'll see you in court. The media wants you to be distracted from the very good news about the economy. You wouldn't know it from watching MSNBC, but there was yet another great economic report today. This is such a strong economy. They're trying to find the, a speck of uh, negativity. A direct attempt to divert attention from the economy. That's why the whole Russia stuff isn't working anymore, because the president has the economy. Try to delineate what this guy says which is often absurd about the economy. And From what's actually happening. From what he actually does. It hasn't been a good week for the president. Is that all the media's fault? It is, because, you know, they didn't cover a lot of the great things this week. Look at how the economy has flourished. This over-the-top media response to this latest investigation, that is right. hurting you and every one of our viewers hurting their money. I think the media keeps focusing on the doctor and not the patient. And the patient is America, and it's doing great. When the economic news is clearly very good, and then you're trying to argue the skies are dark, that seems to me to be, you know, journalists almost rooting for a bad economy. I think it's a disgrace, quite frankly. Here we have the media concentrating en masse, Russia, 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 Comey, 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 our financial way of life, that goes uncovered. The media are good news fire extinguishers. Economy added 52,000 more jobs. They go like this. The economy is gangbusters, so they've yeah. got to have some. They're sending the nightly newscast down to the border to report from there, like this is suddenly now an issue because it's happening under Donald Trump. 57% of Americans think President Trump is a racist. Given the fact that the economy really is doing better, you know, what's not to love? You took a meeting, you, the meeting meant nothing. I don't care. Trump was there, Trump wasn't there, he wasn't there. I don't care. I don't like waste, fraud, and abuse in any part of the government at all. At the same time, the EPA has just been out of control and reining it in but would really be the right thing for the economy. The overall... I know Katie and Julia are coming from another meeting, so let's go ahead and get started. Dave, what's the latest with the smart building pilot? I've already done some preliminary analysis on the data, and I'm finding some high-temperature outliers. We should discuss it later in the meeting. Okay, sounds great. Dave, 
Do you know if we'll have enough of the Yanzi multi sensors to update the showcase floor? Actually, I have some concerns about the location of those sensors. We should hold off on doing a one to one replacement until I can. Oh, I'm really sorry to interrupt, Dave. I actually have some ideas about the replacement, so maybe let's connect after the meeting. OK, a y that's good to know. I'll follow up with my team and post an update to the channel after the meeting. And I'll follow up and send Yanzi an email about those showcase sensors. OK, a y that sounds great. Cost of, of Harvey. Well, I think it's a positive when you positive. come to year end, yeah, 2017. A lot well, of look, that money is going to travel the rebuilding. Uh, uh, yeah, just talking about the dollar. If we'd have had 98,000 new jobs in any month during the Obama administration, we would be all over them. Why shouldn't I say that now about Mr. Trump? Well, go ahead, but we haven't had. <laughs> no, <I'm not laughs> it has been really frustrating to me to hear people ignorantly excusing. A 17 year old possibly committing sexual assault as boys will be boys. Okay. I am a victim of a pedophile when mm. I was a kid, someone who was much older than me. Okay. And those are the things that they do. I have never admitted that on television. I didn't tell my mom that until I was 30 years old. A family member told me just this past week about her own experience. Out of the blue, she texted me. And she said, This is a quote I believe her because I'm a product of the Me Too movement. And I texted right back and I said, What? No way. Why didn't you say anything? And she replied, Shame. I thought he loved me. I realized that I was still justifying behavior. And it was my mom who said, No, 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 Laura, that was sexual assault. That was harassment. That was assault. No, you were 14 then. You were, and you realized how.、Um, in our Culture, how we have justified and therefore even condoned behavior as though it's the norm. I have my own experiences that have come back to me very vividly, and I found it really hard to sleep,、um, hard to think, hard to communicate.、Uh, a lot of the feelings I've been having about anxiety, about being honest,、um, the guilt for not speaking up earlier. And he was sticking his tongue out overtly sexually. To me, I mean, it was no mistake that this was a, a, a sexual type tongue move. And I'm going, and I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm thinking, is this how this guy breaks the ice? I don't understand what this is. I reach my hand out, and he, he takes his right hand and under mine and immediately squeezes, grabs my genitals, and just, and I'm jumping out like, hey, hey,、mm -hmm. whoa. Why weren't you? You're a big, powerful man. Why didn't you? Senator, as a black man in America. <sighs> Say it as it is. I think it's important. You only have a few shots at success. You only have a few chances to make yourself a viable member of the community. The way he looked at me, the way he giggled, it was, it was one of those things where he was like, hey man, you know, no one's ever g o n n a believe you. In my life, it hasn't mattered if the person was 17 or 70. The pain and the damage are real, and it never goes away. Rod Rosenstein, the man who oversees the Russia probe, reportedly secretly discussed recording conversations with the president. This is a bombshell. If this New York Times story is true, that the deputy attorney general. Rod Rosenstein considered invoking the 25th Amendment to remove the president from office. I have a message for the president tonight. Under zero circumstances should the president fire anybody. These actors tonight, and I have multiple sources confirming this and more information coming, they are hoping and praying that the president does just that. But if you were laying a trap for Donald Trump, this might be exactly how you do it. Before moving forward, the president might ask himself, Why do Andy McCabe and the New York Times want me to fire Rod Rosenstein? And why do they want me to do it now rather than a year ago?